Hello kids! Welcome to our video lesson for today. I am teacher Janice and come on, let's learn things together. Grade 3 video lesson Quarter 1 Summarizing and restating information Do you love sharing stories without missing important details? That's great! Today, we are going to discuss how to summarize a story using the five finger strategy. Applying a strategy in summarizing would make it easier and faster. It also improves our memory. By definition, summarizing is getting to the point. This means that we only tell the most important parts of the story. Also, in summarizing, we have to restate information, meaning we have to express the same idea in different words. So, when we summarize, we make long information short by getting to the point and restating ideas using our own words. Purposely, teachers use summarizing because this is a useful way to check and demonstrate your true understanding of the information. When you cannot restate and summarize information after listening or reading, it is important to go back or reread to clarify information. To start with, I want to show you these pictures. You identify which of these pictures tell something about the underlined word. Now, I will read a sentence. A lamb is a baby sheep. Please read it again. Very good! What word is being underlined? That's right! Underlined word in this sentence is lamb. Which picture describes the lamb? Great job! Here's the second sentence. Big girls laugh. Read it, kids. Nice! What word is being underlined? Thumbs up! The underlined word in this sentence is laugh. Which picture tells something about laugh? Perfect! Third sentence. Snow covers the ground when it's winter. Read it once again. You're getting better! The what word is being underlined? Correct! The underlined word in this sentence is snow. Which picture tells something about snow? You figured it out! The 
underlined word in this sentence is children. Which picture tells something about children? Excellent! Now, I will read all the five words. Lamb, love, snow, please, children. Now, it's your turn, class. Read the words one by one. Good job! The new words that you have just learned are in the nursery rhyme, Mary had a little lamb. Are you familiar with this song? That's good! Now let us sing together. You is to use your own words. 
and M is to include main ideas only. S U M SUM And a strategy that will make summarizing a lot easier is the five finger summary. It only asks five details from a short story. This is also known as the SWBST chart. S stands for somebody. W stands for wanted. B stands for but. Another S stands for so. And T for then. SWBST. The first detail that you are going to look for in a story is somebody. That answers the question, who is the main character? Now, who is the main character in the nursery rhyme, Mary had a little lamb? You've got it! Although Mary's mentioned, the entire song talks about the lamb. So, the detail for somebody is the lamb. The second detail that you need to find is wanted. That answers, what did the main character want? In this case, what did the lamb want? Great memory! The lamb wanted to follow Mary everywhere and it did follow Mary to school one day. Thirdly, you need to find the but that answers what was the problem faced by the main character. In the rhyme, what was the problem of the lamb? Yes, a lamb at school was against the rule. It means that an animal like a lamb is not allowed to enter the school. That's the third detail. Next, you have to seek answer about the soul. Or how did the character try to solve the problem? Now, what did the lamb do in the song? Right! The lamb played with the children. That's the fourth detail. Finally, to end the summary, find for the then. That answers, how did the story end? For this song, what is the ending? mentioned in the rhyme. Wonderful! The teacher turned the lamp out of the school but still it lingered near Mary. Now, this is how the five finger summary looks like. This has details for somebody which is the lamp owned by Mary. Detail for wanted you have followed Mary to school we have the detail for but, a lamb at school was against the rule. Detail for so, the lamb played with the children. And for the then, the teacher turned the lamb out of the school but still it lingered near Mary. This is not a summary yet. These are only the main details that you will include in writing or making a summary. No class! going to model how to write a summary in three to five sentences only. Of course, using the details that we have noted in the chart. Are you ready? Here it is. Summary. Mary had a little lamb. There was a lamb who tailed Mary to school one day. But a pet like a lamb was not allowed in school. So, he tried to amuse the kids. Then, he remained at school with Mary, even if the teacher chased him out. You notice that I did not copy the same details as written in the chart. It's because I used my own words or restate the idea to express the same information. And you see? How a long nursery rhyme is turned short. It's because we only include the main details 
are the key points of the story. That's all that matters. Now let us practice together. Are you familiar with the fairy tale Cinderella, the original story? I'm afraid you're not familiar, but it would take so much time to read the whole story. So, for your sake, I picked up the main details using the five finger summarizing chart so that you could directly write a summary. But please remember to restate the information, meaning you express the same idea using your own words. You may pause this video for five minutes in order for you to complete the task. After that, you may play this video back to proceed and check your work. Now, here are the details for the fairy tale Cinderella. Okay, for somebody, who is the main character? Of course, we have Cinderella. For wanted, what did the main character want? Cinderella wanted to go to the king's palace to attend the grand ball or party. For the detailed part, what was the problem? The problem of Cinderella was her stepmother did not allow her to go. For the so, how did the character try to solve the problem? So, a fairy godmother appeared and helped her to go to the grand ball. And for the then, how did the story end? When Cinderella and the prince met, fell in love, and lived happily ever after. So those are the details that you are going to use to write a summary. Again, you may pause this video for five minutes and then come back to check your work. And time is up! Now let us check your answer. Here is the summary for the fairy tale Cinderella. Summary Cinderella wanted to join the grand ball in the king's place, but her stepmother did not permit her to go. So a fairy godmother showed up and sent her to the grand ball. Then Cinderella met the prince and they both fell in love and decided to live together forever. Have you made a summary similar to this one? Amazing effort! You should be proud. We may not have the same terms used to summarize the story as long as you use your own words to express the same idea. It's just okay. Now, let us have the second activity for you to master the skill in summarizing. I will read the story each day first. But here's the challenge. After I read, you may pause this video to reread the story for deeper understanding. Take down the most important parts of the story using the five finger summarizing chart. And so, after that, you may write your summary. And please remember to restate the information you have noted from the story. Now I will read the story. Beach Day It was a hot day. Zoe went to the beach with her family. She couldn't wait to swim in the ocean. Dad set up the umbrella. Mom spread out the towel. Zoe Put on her life jacket. Can we go swimming now? Zoe asked. First, we need to put on the sunblock. Mom said. She looked inside her bag. Oh no, we didn't bring it. Zoe frowned. She really wanted to go for a swim. Don't worry. I'll go get some, Dad said. He went to the boardwalk and was back in five minutes. Mom, Dad, and Zoe all put on sunblock. Then they ran to the ocean. 
So that's it, the story of the beach day. You may pause this video for 10 minutes in order for you to do the task that I have given you. After 10 minutes, play this video back in order to check your work and proceed to the next part of the lesson. Good luck, kids! I'm back! Hooray for you because you are three steps closer to end this lesson. Of course, let's check your work. The first one is for you to fill out the SWBSD chart with the details taken from the story Beach Day. Here it is. We have Zoe for somebody. Go for a swim or go swimming for the second detail wanted. For the third detail, the butt, we have Zoe needed to put sunblock or over the body. For the third detail, the butt, we have Zoe needed to put sunblock all over her body, but her mother was not able to bring it. The next detail, the soul. Zoe frowned that made her dad went out to get for sunblock. In this ending of the story, Zoe and her family were able to swim in the ocean. Have you taken down the same information for this SWBST chart? Good for you! Now let us try to check your summary. Now here is the summary for the beach day. Summary Beach day Zoe wanted to go to the beach to swim. But there was no sunblock that she needed for skin protection. So, she made a sad face that enabled her father to look for a sunscreen lotion. Then, her dad found one and Zoe with her parents splashed happily into the sea. You see how easy and fast it is to write a summary using the five finger strategy. Do you find it easier and faster too? Good job! Now, to end our video session, read and summarize the story, The Farmer and His Dog. Use the information in the SWBST chart as your guide. And remember to restate the information or retell it in your own words. There is also rubrics for you to evaluate yourself in the task. If you get all or most items with a smiling face, you are excellent! If you get most items with a fair face, you are good! And if you get more of a sad face, you should study more. That's it for today! I know that you are very responsible, so make sure to read the whole story and get your task. Bye and see you next time.